Hello, I'm David Larson, KK4WW, and we're here at the Amateur Radio Station in Floyd, Virginia, and 4 usa Today I want to discuss the MFJ989 roller inductor antenna tuner. This has been a popular tuner over the years and quite a versatile tuner. So let's take a look at the controls on the outside and input outputs on the back and take a look inside and we'll discuss the schematic diagram. Well, the MFJ989 is a fairly easy tuner to use. It has a dual cross needle SWR for forward and reflected power, a coax switch allowing you to have two different antennas hooked up, antenna one or two, or you can bypass the tuner and go directly to antenna one or two, and it also has an internal dummy load, and it has an internal ballon for balanced uh, feed line and a capacitor for the transmitter tuning and the antenna tuning. The inductor tuning is actually by rotary inductor and there's a nice counter here so you can log the uh, control settings. So your inductor is a totally variable conductor. And the meter selector switch allows you to connect, uh, select forward power reverse power, or reflected power, in a 200 watt setting, 2 kilowatt setting. And then for SWR, there's a position here for setting, uh, or basically calibrating the, the meter. So, like I said, it's pretty straightforward. And we'll handle up to uh, 1500 watts. In fact, this is called 3 kilowatt series. I don't know if it'll handle 3 kilowatts, but it'll certainly handle the full amateur input power. So let's take a look around here in the back. You see your input for attaching coax one from the antenna or from the second antenna, who I'll call coax two. And this goes over to your transmitter. And if you want to want to light the uh, lamp in the meter, you put in 12 volts here. And over here is for balanced uh, feed line or single wire. So we can fire, uh, handle coax, single wire, or balanced feed line. So, like I said, pretty straightforward. So let's take a look inside and see what it looks like inside. Well, going from the front panel controls, looking inside, we have the cover off now. Looking at the inside of this, we see here is a roller inductor. Pretty hefty roller inductor. And this little roller moves up and down the coil, varying the inductance as we turn the inductor. The two capacitors are nice sized capacitors. There's the antenna capacitor and the one they've labeled transmitting capacitor. And here's the dummy load. You wouldn't put much power in this for very long, but it is a 50 ohm dummy load, so under low power you can test a transceiver. And down below this is your ballon and the connections here on the back panel to the single wire, the balanced wire. And here's the band switch back here that switches between coaxes, dummy load, and the various functions. And this little panel you see back here has a circuitry to pick up the forward and reflected power part of the SWR meter. And of course here you see the coax 1 and coax 2. And the transmitter input is sort of hidden over here behind us here on this side. So this is an inside view of the SIMFJ989. Just kind of looking at the back of the panel. Not too much to see here. Here's the dual meter and the drive control for the um, inductor. This is a schematic diagram for the MFJ989 antenna tuner. We have the transmitter input going through a tor toroid. Now, this circuitry here is simply the power monitoring circuitry for forward power, reflected power, and S SWR. RF comes on through to the tuner itself, which is a twin T tuner. Here's the variable inductor 
the input capacitor variable and the output variable capacitor. This makes it the, this is a tuner element, the twin T tuner. The rest of the switching circuitry really switches the input and output to various connections. We can go to coax one direct, coax two direct, or we can go through the tuner to the coaxes, or to a dummy load external, or to the wire, here's your connection to the wire, or to a balanced uh, twin lead, and this is the output with a balance here for the twin lead.